If you're struggling with your quality of contact, it might well be that your hands are getting too high into impact, just like this. So in today's video, we're going to be focusing on trying to lower your hands into impact to improve your quality of strike. And I'm going to be sharing with you some fantastic exercises and feels that you can take to the golf course. Make sure you check out this video. So what I clearly demonstrated there with that ball flight was a, a, a pattern where I got the ball starting right, bending left. It overdrew a little bit, but it got my path from in to out. If you are someone who's been struggling with high hands, poorer strikes into impact, it may well be that you're just getting that sequence wrong in the start of the downswing where you're coming over the top, starting to dominant with your upper body. You can see clearly I'm going to then hit this tour stick with my head cover on because my arms are getting too far out in front of me. Or it may be that you're a player where you're just early extending, which is when we're starting to lose our posture. So the other reason we see high hands into impact is on the downswing where we start to see the hips going forwards towards the golf ball that forces my hands up. Now, the reason my hands get forced up is if my hips are going forwards towards the golf ball, I should be striking them out the neck of the golf club, out the heel of the golf club, maybe suffering with some shanks. So what the players does, does to compensate is they get the handle up. And as they get the handle up, the club head comes closer to them. But when we get this handle very high, it's very hard to control what the club face is doing through impact. And it's very hard to control where the ball's striking on the club face. Often we see a lot of strikes, bad strikes, low towards the toe of the golf club. So what I've simply done here, and you could just do this off turf, is I've pushed an alignment stick, or you would push an alignment stick into the ground. I've obviously got the swing plate here with the tour stick coming out of it, and I've just put a head cover over the top. It could just be a little bit of tubing, something along those lines, just so you don't feel like you're gonna hurt yourself too much. Now, I would encourage you when you're using this as an exercise to go ahead and just hit a tee peg without the ball, first of all, and just do some slow motion swings, seeing how we can deliver our hand a little bit lower into impact, how we can miss this tube, uh, the, the tubing or the cane. If I get my backside going forwards, my arms going out away from me, my hands are gonna be very high, I'm gonna hit this. So I've really gotta get that feeling, and it is very off-putting, that I've gotta deliver my handle lower into impact. What we see with the best players in the world is they tend to return with their handle and the shaft at a similar place to where it was at setup. Most are going a little bit higher, but what we see with your average golfer is the hands go a lot higher, and we end up with the end of the club pointing perhaps to the middle of the rib cage, at least higher than belly button. Whereas what we see with the world's elite is they manage to lower that handle and it's pointing at belt buckle belly button or slightly below rather than up towards middle of rib cage. So some slow rehearsals, trying to get the feeling of missing this. Now I'm missing this by getting my arms to drop in the downswing, not come over the top. And as I get my arms to drop, I'm keeping my backside back. Okay. I'm not getting this early extension pelvis going forwards. Let's try one more. I'm expecting to hit probably over draws initially when I'm doing this, like you saw with that first swing. But if you're someone who's been struggling with an over-the-top move, pushing, fading, it's slicing it. You're just gonna love to see that push-draw pattern and hear that better contact. Now, I could perhaps do a bit of multitasking if you are the early extender. So if you're getting your hands high through impact because your backside is moving forwards, we know that your spine angle is very upright into impact, see it on video, then perhaps put a chair behind you as well. So I'm going to set up and put a chair or a ball or even your golf bag against your backside. If you're not new to my channel, you'll have seen me do this before. But what I'm gonna get the feel of here is missing the head cover and keeping my backside back on the line here rather than hips going forwards, which would force my arms out 
and the compensation is my hands to get very high. Very, very destructive for that quality of contact, quality of strike. So a bit of multitasking here. Can I keep my bum on the line and miss the head cover? Okay, so at impact, I really felt my left bum cheek against the chair. Clearly, I missed the head cover, I missed the, the tour stick, so I know that I'm starting to get my handle lower through impact. So it's a great exercise, great feel. As I said, start with some small swings, start with some slow swings without the golf ball, just trying to get the feel of getting your arms down and keeping your backside out, because the high handle at impact it's either going to be your backside going forwards or the arms going a long way away from you. So I'd give this a go. I'd try this as an exercise first before you go, of course, into some normal shots with that same sensation. So I think once you've done the exercises, feel it in a practice swing. So I'm going to get the sensation of my arms getting close to my body. Now they do have to go a little bit out in front of me, but there's a difference between a little bit and a lot and I'm gonna really get that sensation of keeping my backside out on that chair behind me. That's the feel I want to get on the downswing. And again, got that ball starting right, bending left, missing target just a little left, but good quality of contact, good distance for a seven eye in there, very happy with it. As I said, if you're someone who's been struggling with fading at slicing it, this is going to be a godsend to you. If you're someone who's struggling with early extension, it's another good exercise. That exercise with the stick up there is what we'd class as a negative rehearsal because you're thinking, God, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. And it is really off-putting and I would not worry about the quality of strike within the first probably 10 shots or so that you do. Try it at a slow pace, maybe even try just hitting a tee peg first with no golf ball. And then as you get used to it, start feeling like you can build up the pace. Um, but it's a great feel to try and get these hands lower into impact and that's really gonna help you find the middle of the golf club more often. If that video has helped, hit the thumbs up. Put some comments below. It's great to hear from you guys of what videos you'd like me to film, at least two instructional videos a week. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well.